you ever want to know how to make a laser cut file? We just did a step-by-step -step tutorial in Adobe Illustrator and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, I'm coaching Kim on some creativity. Yeah, you'll see there's nothing on our table here. Nothing up my sleeves either. <laughs> That's because we know we have a lot of new Glowforge users out there, and I'm not sure that everyone, including myself, knows how to create their own SVGs and do their own cut files. So we're good. we thought we would do something a little bit different this week and do a step-by-step -step tutorial in Adobe Illustrator and show you how we create a cut file. Well, I'll be doing it. Garrett will be coaching me. A cut file from start to finish. Step-by-step, -step, like no editing it'll be like real time and we'll cut it out using the glowforge okay here we are in adobe illustrator we're going to start with a template so let me open my template and i'll explain to you why we're using a template so this template already has the basic uh red yellow green blue yeah basic colors that glowforge uses for layers so that's this color swatches up here. Uh, it's gonna use real red, real blue, real green, and so you know which are your cut lines and which are your score lines. So I'm starting from a template simply so I'll have those colors. All right, I plan to do a monogram door round today. So we're gonna start with an 18 inch by 18 art board, which is what this is. And I guess we're gonna start with our backer, right? Yeah, start with a backer. Okay, over here in our shapes tool, our rectangle tool, I'm gonna right click and say ellipse so I can draw a circle. I'm gonna hold the shift key and draw my circle. Hit cancel, go back to my selection tool. I'll center my circle. I'm gonna put no fill here. It's only filled because I just clicked on red. And then I'm going to change the size of my circle over here in the right hand side under our properties. I'm going to change this to 18. Oh, before you do that, yeah. I'm going to lock it and make sure the dimensions <laughs> are consistent. So, oops, blank space, 18. All right, and now we're going to use our menu bar up here. We're gonna align on center horizontally and vertically. All right, so we have our backer. The next thing we're gonna do is create our ribbon holes. So here, I'm gonna go back to my shapes tool, right click, and we're gonna do rounded rectangle. Rounded rectangle. And we have a standard size we use, and that is? 1.125. 125. And then, oh, you get to deselect uh, your constraints. Oh, I'm yeah. going to unlock it. Okay. So 1.125 and. And then it's. Well, 0. 0.125 tall. Yeah. So 1.125, is that right? Yeah. Yep, okay. that's right. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool over here. And then I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to do a control C, control V. Pro tip, click off of it. Uh huh. Now just grab it and move it all in one. <laughs> nope, don't click it. And <laughs> you grab it and move it. Nope, you can't highlight it. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, control Z. Nope, you can't click and go, you guys guy. <laughs> if you can grab it and go, it, it, it's the best way to do it. Alright, so I'm gonna click in my left, I'm gonna use my left mouse button, press and hold. Hold on. Just I'm both. gonna click and hold my left mouse button so I can select both of them. And then I'm going to align on bottom so that they're even with one another. Well, I guess I don't need to do that yet because basically... Well, if you hold shift now, it'll stay on that line. Oh, okay. So control Z. 
Okay. Now if you grab it and move it, grab it and start to move it and then hold shift. See, it'll stay oh. right on that. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, fun. Now if you select both. Uh-huh. Left click, and hold. Group those. Group. And then center both of those. Bam. Center. Yep. All right. Your back and that's as exact as we need to be, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so do I need to group the whole thing or are we just going to go to a new layer? I would say make a new layer. Just uh, create a new layer. Okay, over here on my layers menu, I'm going to add a little plus sign, create a new layer. I would lock that back or two so you don't move it around. Yeah. I'm going to press the lock button right here. Now we can't mess up what we've done on this layer and our backer. Now I need to... What do I do to select this layer? It's it's highlighted. It's selected. I'm You're there. good. You're okay. there. Yep. So close this. Now we can start to build our monogram. Yep. All right. I'm going to use my what tool is this? Type tool. Type tool. And you know what you don't do? I'll teach you guys a little something. Every time I did the type tool, I would draw this box, and it was a mess. And Garrett said, "No, that's not how you do it." You so, create a paragraph. Yes, and we don't want to do that. So. You're going to do this and then you're going to select your type tool and just click in here. And so you have one little box of text and I'm going to go ahead and I'll start with the monogram first. So I'm just going to put a capital G. Now it's super tiny. I can't see it. I need to make it larger. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool, click on my tiny G. Tiny G. And then I'm going to hold the shift key because then it We'll keep the size is proportionally, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It can only get so big as a font. So I can't. That's not bad. For now, we'll leave it there. Uh, and then I know I want this to be Times New Roman. There we are. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to type my last name. Yep. Type tool. Where do I need to be? Yeah, oh, just away from that G. There you go. All right. And then I'm just going to type in the last name. I don't know. I can't see. Just go with it. <laughs> be one with the typing. All right. I'm going to go back to my selections selection tool hold the shift key make it bigger and I know I'm gonna want this right here oh that's too big I'm off the screen all right and I know what font I want for this one this one's going to be homework, homework. there we are Now, so keep going here, or should I just keep making my design? I think yeah, I just, just keep, keep going making with the design. Your design. Mm -hmm. All right, and my rectangle tool, I know I want a little rectangle down here, I guess about that size. I'm gonna raise this up a little so we can see what we're doing. And then, I'm going to control C, control V, and kind of create a copy. I'm going to put this here. Mm. It's probably going to need to be another size because I need text here first. Here, uh, EST 2014. Selection tool, shift key. Ooh, so fancy. Well, I don't think I want that font. I want it to be more like an Arial font. And this one, except it's a little skinny. So do they have a bold? Oh, they do have a bold. All right, and that's not bad, right? You good with that? Should yeah. I scrunch it up a little? Uh, I'd probably make the rectangles a little small. 
hold the shift key and just resize them over here. Well, I would copy one and paste it back over there now. Yeah, I don't know if you'd ever be able to get that same size again. All right, so select these. I don't want all that though. Yeah, I think it's time you start creating outlines of your fonts. Because if you choose, try to center these or align these on middle, since it's a font, it has a space under it and it won't actually align true middle. All right, well, I can't, can I just, I can't. Yeah, control Z. Undo, hold on. <laughs> there. So I had to get my G out of the way. Just right, convert just, them all. Just go ahead and start converting. Yeah, before now, I, yeah, before I mess it up even further. Now it's becoming a pain in the butt with them as fonts. Okay. All right, so now I have the design essentially there, but what we want to do from here is actually make this into a cuttable font. Right now, uh, if you were to load the font directly into Glowforge, what would it do? It'll say there's text in your file, <laughs> and it won't load as a cuttable piece of artwork. So we need this text to look like an image or... Yep. A graphic? Yeah, it just needs graphic. to be converted to a vector based. It needs okay. to be turned into numbers instead of letters. All right. Don't get don't get too technical on me. <laughs> All right. Let's start with the so we can hide things right now, right? If I go to my layers yep. and I expand this layer. Yep. So um, we'll just hide everything that I'm not using right now. Oh, I do want that. Where's this little guy? He's top layer. Hide him. All right, so we're gonna take our G and then basically we're gonna create an outline of the text that we see, right? And that was under type, create outlines. Yep, done. Done, okay. So I will, um, nope. I will hide this and I'll bring this one back. Same thing, select the word, type, create outlines. Oh, and this is a script type font, so you're gonna have to unite all of these letters. Okay, and I'm gonna do that In under- Window. Window. Pathfinder. Uh, Pathfinder. And unite is that first button. Unite, okay. So that's kind of like merge in Cricut, right? Design yep. space. Yeah, it's kind of like merge. Okay, so now we have that. We have this G. Um, established. And then, okay, I'll hide these and bring back established, this rectangle and this rectangle. So this one, same thing, right? Yep, same thing. So I'm just going to go to type, yep. uh, create outlines, and then that's it, right? Yep, that's and it. And then for this one, I don't, because it's already a graphic, I don't have to create an outline or I do? Nope, you don't have to. Okay. So now I should bring everything back. We're good? Yeah. Okay. So, should I center everything yet, or? Yeah, put everything where you want it to be now. Okay. So, I kinda wanna center this and center that. And these guys, um, center, and then I guess this. Well. Yeah, select the two outer pieces and group those. Well, I don't think I want to yet. I just want to move this over a little. Well, I was going to say, because then you'll be able to center established in between them. Okay, so now this one, shift. Are they aligned middle? Um, well, align middle, yes. All right, 
group one. And then object group. Yep. Now you can pick up, now hold shift and pick up that, uh, the date. Select, select all of them. Just basically select yeah. all of them. Mm -hmm. Now do. And then align center. Yep. And middle. And align middle. Middle. Okay. Yep. All right, does that look right? Yeah, does that look right to you? Um, this looks like it should go over one, but I mean, I, I, I aligned it center so it knows more than I do. <laughs> okay, so our next step is, so we have our design complete. Next step is actually making it a cuttable file. Yep, do you wanna make it layers? Yes, so uh, in order to cut this, I can't set gentry on top of the G. There'll be a space under there. You can't glue it down. It's a mess. Yeah, and try cutting it out and then piecing it back together, the letters around each other. Yeah, oh. Almost impossible. It takes forever. Yeah, so uh, in some other things you might, you know, you'll see other designs where you'll cut gentry out of the G. You don't want to do that. We're going to actually put gentry on top of the G and make it multi-layered. Yeah, a lot easier to paint. Yes, it's definitely a lot easier to paint that way. Okay, so next step. So go to layers. One of my layers. Find gentry. Gentry. And then create, um, use your little hamburger and duplicate this, this layer, this compound layer. Okay. Now hide one of them. Hide one of them. Now select the G and Gentry. The G. And we'll shift and select Gentry. Yeah, gotta select the selection piece. Oh. Okay. And now unite these. Um, window. Window. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Unite. Unite. Yep. Okay. Now you want to give this a color so we'll be able to tell. Like give it a yeah. different color. Yeah. I than want. Black. So this I will want in like a. I don't know. No, like this color gray. Okay. Now bring the other gentry back. The other gentry. Done. There you go. Yeah. All right. So you ready to send it to cut? Cut. Go ahead and uh, select everything there except the backer right now. So again, I'm just holding this left mouse button and dragging it so that I'm selecting all of the text. And let's make a copy, copy paste. Control C, Control V. Yep, move it over to the right. There you go. Oh, fancy. Now let's get that uh, black gentry off of the gray gentry. And I'll select all of these elements. All of them? Yep. Okay. And we'll get rid of the fill. No fill. And give them a red stroke. I like red because it means cut. So for us, we use red as cut. All right, so. And go back over to the backer. Yeah, that looks, everything looks right. All right. And now with the backer still locked, select gentry. Well, you can delete the top gentry. You can delete the black one and get rid of it. Okay. And then select the established and gentry. Uh-huh. Lose the fill and yeah, give fill. this one a blue stroke. Um, this one? You're still in fill. Oh, I'm so, oh, I do that every time. <laughs> stroke. Now. Don't make the mistake, because I did. This doesn't give you the color. Don't click on the word stroke. Click on this little box right here, and then select blue. Right? We're going to... Yep. Blue. So the plan here is that we'll... Oh, well, let, let me finish the... Yeah. we got to make this cuttable, unlock right? Unlock the backer. Yep. Okay. So... Uh, unlock. You can just select the whole thing. 
Uh huh. No fill, and give it a red stroke. And give it a red stroke because we want to cut the backer out. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. You got yourself a cut file. Well, now you have to export it. Okay. So what we've got so far is we will cut our backer. We're gonna score where Gentry goes right on the backer. That way we know we've got perfect placement. These score marks have been lifesavers for me for everything that we paint. Oh yeah, definitely. And we didn't have them at first and I was like, how am I supposed to center this? And I tried using the cutout and yeah. it becomes a mess because then you end up gluing that down. Score marks are the only way to go. And now I have the base layer G and then Gentry that will go on top of this to make it multi-layered. And then 2014 will go down at the bottom. Okay. All right, great. Let's now, file. file. Export as. Export as. And just and then, name it whatever. Where do we put it? In this the is fine for now. Okay, name it as monogram. Um, Gentry. Gentry, sure. And just keep all the defaults. So, font, SVG, images, embed, layer names, all this. Just hit OK. Yeah. OK. That's it. All right. You ready to cut it out? Let's go cut it and see what we get. Well, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll import it into Blueforge. This one. Huh? Do yep. I didn't know he already had this open. Yeah. <laughs> Upload. Uh, Upload. Oh, I think I put it in downloads, monogram gentry, open. And we're going to use a uh, quarter inch MDF, so just go to unknown, thick draft board, top one. Uh -huh. And then let's make this a little smaller so you can see it. Yeah, there you go. And because it's 18 inch, uh, go ahead and hit. Um, it's so hard to see the thing in there. That's because there's no board in there. Go ahead and hit pass through. Pro yeah. pass through, just toggle that on. Yeah, toggle that on. All right. Now control A, and drag this up a little bit. Keep going. To the bottom. There, all right, there you go. Let it go. Now over on the side, let's go ahead and select this one, the top one, mm -hmm. and make that score. And then the other one's cut, and we're ready. I'm gonna go load it. Do up. we leave it just on draft? Uh, yeah, because we're just using it for placement purposes. We don't need high quality. It goes a little deeper with high quality, a little deeper. I just need slower. to know. Give me the gist yeah. of where to line this thing up. Draft. All right, and then this That's one is cut. already cut. Yep. So now will we come back? So we're going to cut this first. We have our score marks. We have our round. Then we'll slide this over and cut this. Yep. Because the only thing that cuts is what is in on the board here. On yeah, the, in that lane. In this lane. In the pro pass lane. The <laughs> passing lane. <laughs> All right, well, let's go turn her on. It's off and make a cut. All right, let's go. What do you think? 
I mean, making... No, I get to say it because oh. I created it. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> making files is a whole lot easier than you thought, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, to create that... So I had no idea how to do the fonts previously. Now, you could see I'd, I had learned a little here in the last few months, but I still don't know how to do everything in Adobe Illustrator. You do and know how important that shift key is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I learned a few things. Still don't have it down to muscle memory like Garrett does. We painted this one kind of poppy, but I wanted to show, show you what you can do, and I hope you guys learned a little something along the way. If you like the tutorials, then leave us a comment down below, and we'll do more of these videos. Yeah, what other tutorials would you like to see? Something a little more intricate, a little more... Well, Advanced. how to bring in a graphics. I think the oh. next one would be how to bring in some sort of clip art from somewhere and then make it a cuttable file. Oh, that's a good one. That's an easy one, surprisingly. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. You guys really help make all of this happen. Thank you. We love interacting with you. We love all of the comments that we get back on Fridays when uh, I put up new files and stuff. So. Yeah, it is definitely our Big make thanks. it fam. Yeah, definitely a make it fam. All right, this one's pretty tough. I know right. these are tough. You can balance it if you want to. We are about out of time. Kim's rushing me. I am. So, <laughs> we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, you're going to do it. No, I you're can't. You're going to break the sign. I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it. Oh. It's, it's got that gentle touch. It's the gentle touch. Oh. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> you held on for a minute. <laughs>